What's going on guys? This is JT here. Welcome back to Skylanders. In this video, we're going to be testing out the five-star nap, my man Tidepool, and also showing some gameplay of him and just talking a little bit about him. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We got Tidepool right here, ready to be evolved. But first, let's go ahead and get into his skills. We got Squid Pistols Level 1. It is only a two mana cost skill, which is very nice. It also reduces endurance by two. We got Fires ink at the enemy, 80% chance to grant focus aggro on the ally with the highest defense for one turn when attacking fire or magic, which is honestly very nice. This is a very good combination with Kingpin himself because as you guys know, Kingpin is a defensive hero. So if we're fighting magic or if we're fighting fire, then we have an 80% chance to focus aggro on our Kingpin and that is definitely who we want taking in the damage. So Squid Pistols, in my opinion, very nice skill. We'll go ahead and take that. We also got Squid Toss. Now, this is a six mana cost skill, and this is also the Awakened skill. And in my personal opinion, I don't think this skill is that great until it gets Awakened. But man, once it gets Awakened, oh baby, it comes on super strong. So we got Tosses a Squid at the enemy. It deals a bonus hit if the enemy gets knocked down. Now, obviously, for six mana, this is a pretty solid skill if the enemy's about to get knocked down. But if not, not really that great, in my opinion. The damage output isn't really that much. But one thing you'll notice, we're not going to awaken him now. But I wanted to quickly go over what this skill does when he is awakened. So, yeah, instead of just tossing a squid at the enemy and deals bonus damage when the enemy gets knocked down, when you awaken it, it summons a gigantic squid to attack a random enemy four times. That's pretty insane. Okay, four attacks and decreases endurance additionally. So that's going to be a big time endurance loss for the, whatever it attacks. It also deals a bonus hit if the enemy gets knocked down. So it seems to be pretty beast once it gets awakened. We also have Well Tell, which is a two mana cost skill, cooldown 20 seconds, summons a well and charges with it at the enemy. 10% chance to heal an ally if the enemy has attack down. Now, unfortunately, the heroes I'm going to be using don't cast attack down, so we're not going to get this benefit. I'm not real sure if any... Do any companions have attack down? I'm pretty sure they do, so this would synergize pretty well if you used a companion with attack down. You'd have a chance at healing your allies, which would be pretty freaking nice, depending on how much it heals for. We also got Blinding Ink, which is the passive. 30% chance to cast Accuracy Down effect on the enemy for one turn when attack lands. Now, why isn't that attack down? Man, that's kind of lame. It seems like the passive should be attack down right there instead of accuracy down. I wonder if that's a mistype by them. I highly doubt it, but it could be possible because normally they synergize together, right? The, energize, the heroes synergize themselves together. So yeah, if we attack, if we cast accuracy down, that kind of stinks. It'd much rather be attack down. That way we get the benefit from well tell as well. We also got deep end, if you use him as a leader, increases the critical damage by 6% of allies in duels. Now I'm not exactly even clear what that means. I believe that that's just in the arena. I don't think that uh, even counts when it comes to PvE. So when I'm using, um, what's his name, Typo, whenever I'm using Typo pull in battle today in B8, I'm going to be using Squid Pistols and also Welltail just because it's really mana efficient and I don't really feel like, like I said, Squid Stoss is really going to be that much of a game changer. We're also going to be using an Awakened Freeze Blade and a Awakened Kingpin. So the team's going to be pretty solid all in all. As for runes, I basically just have whatever runes fit the hero. So Kingpin has a bunch of defensive runes. Um, Freeze Blade has some offensive runes for more damage. And we got defensive runes on Squid Pistol as well because we definitely want to keep Squid Pistol alive, right? So let's go ahead and get into battle and test these bad boys out. What should we start off? We should start off with... Yeah, 8F. I mean, Dungeon 8's already hard enough. I highly doubt we can even... I haven't even tried 9F yet, but I'm assuming we probably can't pass it because, I mean... Oh, actually, we didn't even evolve the hero first. Yeah, let's go ahead and evolve this bad boy. At least get him a little bit more stats, and then let's get into it. What am I doing? All right, let's get into the Skylanders. Where's my boy at? Tide pull. Let's go ahead and evolve. We got all the materials it takes, so evolution has been done. We now got 6-star Tide pull, which is... 
today. Nice! And let's go ahead and get into battle. I guess I could go over... Yeah, let me quickly go over these stats, just in case you guys were wondering of our Typo. So we got... Overall, 4,000 attack, 1518 defense, and 9,400. Man, that might be more HP than my Kingpin. Oh, no, it is not even close, actually. 13,000 HP on Kingpin. What a monster. All right, so let's go ahead and get in now. Distorted Dimensions will fight in the fire because, obviously, we have an advantage against fire. And, like I said, these are the skills we're going to be using. These are the Skylanders we're going to be using. Kingpin, uh, Typo, and uh, what do I call that hero? What's that hero's name again? Dang, come on. Why do I keep forgetting this freaking Skylanders name? Wonder, is it Tide? Tide Pool? Is that the hero's name? Tide Pool. Yeah, okay. Tide Pool. All right, yeah. Keep forgetting that freaking name. All right, yeah. Tide Pool. Get that in your head, JT. Let's go. All right, let's get into battle. Boys, we got Fire Dungeon 8F. Should we turn Auto Battle on? I mean, it is three times. Yeah, we'll just turn Auto Battle on. I don't really feel like clicking individual skills. I will try to uh, put on... Now, one thing to notice, we're going to be using this quite a bit. The 80% chance to focus aggro on, on ally with the highest defense, which is going to be Kingpin. So one other skill we want to use is Frost Sickle because obviously that's a huge AoE damage. Look at it. It's absolutely wasting. These guys are getting wasted in AF right now. Like, is this real right now? My boy Freeze Blade's like, this is easy peasy living squeezy. Like, what? Let's go. Let's go, Freeze Blade. Toss up some AoE, boys. Let's go ahead. Keep it going. We got the Chakram coming right now for decent damage, but then followed up with the big boy skill. Oh, then he got frozen as well. Frost Sickle is just too good. We're already on the boss. That is insanely fast. Let's go ahead and draw in aggro from the boss because when the boss solo targets, we definitely want him to be focusing our Kingpin or this Broccoli guy. Either one, either one works, no doubt about that. Now, one thing we don't have with this lineup is like a big time direct damage like for a boss for example we don't really have anything that really shines we have a bunch of aoe stuff you know squids okay for damage but not really that great to be honest it's really nice to get that aggro on our kingpin though i'm not gonna lie about that so we are at two minutes and 40 seconds on the run right now the boss is pretty low life our heroes are surviving pretty well i mean no hero really lost even hardly any hp in that fight to be perfectly honest so, not a bad 8F run. A pretty easy three stars clear with this lineup, in my opinion. And we'll go ahead and take some materials. All right, let's go ahead and get into 9F. Just see how it goes down and see what happens. All right, we'll keep the same exact lineup. Everything going the same. Now, like I told you guys, we are mainly focusing on using from Tide Pool. Uh, this skill right here, it is called Squid Pistols to send the focus aggro on our Kingpin. And we also want to use uh, Penguin Combos as much as possible as well because that focuses aggro for two turns and possible to gain a shield if a crit hit lands. So the goal is basically to use Tide Pull to get the initial aggro, let them attack, and then right after that use Kingpin's attack. Then it focuses aggro for two, two more turns. And then for those two turns, that's when we bring Freeze Blade in. If we weren't using auto attack, auto attack really, you know, screws things up. You don't get to choose the attack, but it also makes uh, makes everything faster, right? So that's why we're using it. Actually, you know what? Let's not use it this time. Let's not use it this time. Let's go ahead and use... Oops, I didn't mean to use that. We'll use Frost Sickle. We'll put Frost Sickle on cooldown. Can't go wrong with that. Then we'll use the Focus Aggro on the hero with highest defense, which is my man over here on the far left, Kingpin. But there weren't any attacks that went down right there. I just want to get Freeze Blade on cooldown right here since we're not really... They're not really putting out like any serious damage to make us worry. We'll go ahead and bring draw out the aggro right now on Kingpin again. We'll send out... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to send out the aggro right... Oh, well, he got attacked twice. So there we go. We went ahead and focus aggro the third time. So now aggro is going to be focused on him. We'll bring in the Frost Sickle again for the massive amounts of AoE damage. Plus Icicle Proc, which is very nice. We got the Chakram coming out for even more AoE damage. Oh my gosh, we got another Proc. Yo, Freeze Blade is just so nasty, man. He is just clearing up. We should be honestly be able to... Ooh, I didn't mean to... Ah, that's okay. Frost Deer Breath, whatever. Oh, I didn't finish him off. Get out of here. Now we got some damage coming on our Freeze Blade. But that's okay because he's going to gain all his life back for this next wave. All right, let's go ahead and start out with using Frost Sickle. Second, we'll attack the main boss with Squid Pistols. That way it draws aggro on our Kingpin. So Kingpin has aggro. Then we'll go ahead and send out Frostier Breath, and then let's follow it up with more aggro to our Kingpin. Oh, he's knocked down. Get back up. All right, let's go ahead and use Frost Sickle. Wow, Kingpin's taking in an insane amount of damage. So let's go ahead and freeze these bad boys up for a little bit. Let's use Shackram right after that, and then we'll go right back into Frost Sickle. That way we just have tons of AoE damage. Get rid of some of these guys, right? We ain't trying to take a bunch of damage. Let's go ahead and use our heal from Broccoli Guy. Get Kingpin's life up a little bit because he is taking in 
insane amounts of damage right now, and I don't like that. Alright, we need him to be... Alright, Frost Eagles should go ahead and clear the whole wave. Let's get it done with. Alright, what's the boss? What's going to go down against the boss right here? Are we about to just get absolutely annihilated? Uh, probably. But we'll have fun doing it. Alright, let's go ahead and send in Frostier Breath. Let's send out a little bit of damage. Let's send out Frost Sickles as well. Our defense just went down. Let's go ahead and send... We need to use as many heals as possible from our Broccoli God. Just keep this guy healed up. Our Kingpin needs to be healed. And we also want to keep the aggro on Broccoli Guy as well. So he has the lowest HP. That way... He is focused from Broccoli Guy, and the defense just works. It synergizes together, right? We heal. We heal who has the most defense, and also he takes the most damage. That's what we definitely want here. Now, if he does AoE, that's obviously going to take away from that because it looks like our Freeze Blade and the Squid's already taken quite a bit of damage in this run, which is pretty unfortunate. So let's go up. Ooh, more AoE damage coming. That is not good. I did not know. Get off. I wish you could take away a skill. Did not mean to click that on the second turn. Man, my kingpin's about to go down. This is not good, boys. This is not good, baby. All right, we got the frost ray. We got him at half life. That ain't too bad. Now we got freeze blade coming in with a little bit of stuns. Come on, baby, stun him up. Where's your skill? We got eight mana. Use your skills, freeze blade. What are you doing, kid? Oh, my gosh. We are not looking. Oh, oh we just got roasted, boys. Oh. Oof. Oh, still, not a bad run for first run ever in 9F. I mean, wasn't that bad. Definitely some adjustments I can make. I'm not even saying this probably isn't, this honestly isn't even that great. Of, nothing even really synergizes together that well with this team, to be honest. We need something that just does an insane amount of damage to the boss, and then this team's going to be looking a lot better. Honestly, Tide Pool doesn't really fit. Without Tide Pool, I probably could honestly beat 9F if I brought in something that does a lot of damage straightforward to the boss. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video of Tide Pool. But for now, I am out of here. Peace out, fellas. Oh, yeah, the green shirt just got done with the morning run and decided some reason to record videos even with a green screen having a green shirt. So I got a bobblehead. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, peace out. Hey, guys, if y'all like what y'all saw, please hit that subscribe button. Support your boy, JT. And if you really like it, go ahead and hit that bell one time for the notifications. Peace out.